chocolate gives us that um, psychological pleasure. It's uh, one of these um, uh, foods that, that, that makes us feel happy. One of the major problems in, uh, in chocolate making is tempering. You have to achieve a certain crystalline structure in the cocoa butter that gives you the functionality associated with chocolate. And that involves the melting around the temperature of the mouth, the snap when you bite into it or you break it with your hands, the color and gloss on the surface, and, and, and the mouthfeel upon melting, meaning grittiness and particle size and all those things. So it's critical when you actually see a, a chocolate maker or a chocolatier, the one with the white hat, and, and the table where they're inducing surface-induced nucleation of cocoa butter. What he's trying to achieve is all those functionalities that we associate with really high quality chocolate. So imagine if you could add a component at fractions of a percentage that directs the entire crystallization structure formation process to that finished product. You wouldn't need very fancy tempering um, protocols or, or, in, or machines industrially. You could very easily achieve the crystalline form. And that's what we explore at, at the CLS. We managed to actually have a three-dimensional reconstruction of a true piece of chocolate. And you could see very clearly the the, the fat phase, the particles, which is sugar, the cocoa butter. It's, it's an incredible first time that anybody can see that. And we can see even imperfections in the contraction of the material and see cracks within it, which is gonna also give us insight into the proper tempering process. So we did find that magic ingredient. We did achieve a certain, the, the crystalline structure without the use of very complex external fields and procedures. And we have some of the most beautiful micrographs of the uh, of, of, of finished chocolate without any sample preparation that were that were only possible because we did this work at the Canadian Light Source could potentially revolutionize the chocolate industry because we would not need very complex tempering machines uh, to do it. Um, and remember, this being the food industry, a small improvement even has a very large consequence in terms of um, the percentage margin that companies can make. So yeah, potentially it could it could revolutionize the way that, that, that we make chocolate um, as revolutionary as, as chocolate could be for humanity.